what's up? Thanks for meeting me here for Valentine's Day, the day of love. I just lost. Oh no, I probably just put it back on. We'll see, maybe not. Maybe I'll have to rip off the other one. Oh, I have something for you. Here you go. I picked it up from the inflatable plastic planet. Very fresh, very good. They actually have the best inflatable chairs there. I'll take you some time. So it's Valentine's Day, and I don't care if people think it's corny. I don't care if people think it's trivial. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> We're gonna turn it up, Valentine's Day style, and I'll show you. I'll show you the meaning of the heart, the anatomically incorrect heart. All right, well, I'm ready to go if you are. Let's go. So unfortunately, because of this medium, you can't respond in real time. Uh, so I thought I'd try something. Anytime I ask a question, a number will be popping up next to me. In the description, there will be a list. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. No problem. <laughs> so I thought I'd try out maybe anytime I ask a question, there's going to be a number that pops up next to me. And if you feel so inclined, uh, you can answer, you can like post a comment with the number and then your answer to the question. That way we can kind of have a conversation. <laughs> Zelly, baby. Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, so let's test it out. Are you ready? So, have you ever been to Santa Monica Pier before? It's a pretty popular destination in LA, and I've only been here maybe three times, but only briefly each time. I think I took like a trapeze. Hey, what's, what's up? up, dude? What's up, dude? I'm on a date right now. You're on a date? Yeah. Do you guys have, we're actually on a first date. Do you guys have any advice for advice. Uh, for uh, first dates? For love? You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. If she asks for money, don't give it to her. If she doesn't give it to you, he probably doesn't clean up after himself. <laughs> Stay single, my guy. Okay. What are you doing, TikTok? Oh, uh, I'm actually on a date. Uh, do you guys have any dating advice for Valentine's Day? Yeah, just be yourself. Be yourself. That's pretty solid. Be like, it goes far, huh? Be yourself and just accept the person who he or she is. That's so, absolutely we beautiful. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. Is that like how you guys got, like, opposite colors, you know? <laughs> the, the duo here. Take care. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> okay. Pretty sound advice. Uh, but yeah, I've only been to Santa Monica Pier, I think, three times. Uh, mostly just for short periods of time. I did, I, they have like a trapeze thing that I did. Uh, but other than that, I've never really checked it out, especially as an adult with uh, free roam mode on. So I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Oh, you know what? I don't even know the history of Santa Monica Pier. I know it's been here for a very long time. We might be able to find somebody who knows something about it. I don't know. Well, we can go anywhere. Uh, so remember, we tested it out. Uh, if you see a number next to my question, check in the description box. I'll have each of the questions listed. Post a comment with your answers to the questions. Okay. Gee, Louise, which way to go? I think, let's go see what's going on over here. Oh, check it out. They have a Squid Game plushes. That's pretty cool. They're pretty cute for uh, being so homicidal. <laughs> Did you see Squid Games? I know it was pretty hyped up, but I actually really liked it. I thought it was uh, really innovative, and they at least committed to the, uh, the, the, the colors of it, you know? It was very visually cool. Woo! In LA, to busk, it's not as easy as you would think. It's a lot of risk. Gotta put your stuff out there. Shifuk. Oof. What is going on? I have lost control of my limbs. Just shove it all back in the bag. That's a problem for a future me to sort through, eh? I think a lot of buskers also have to, like, pay permits to be here, you know? I'll be right back. I thought the guy was talking to me one good kiss. But instead, I was just like, I'm not gonna turn around. No kisses for you. Except it's Valentine's Day. Maybe I should be dolling out kisses, huh? Just left and right. So, you know the whole thing about love languages? What is your love language? 
Mine is words of affirmation first, and then second, it's physical contact. Cuddles. I like nice words and cuddles. Cuddles and nice words, you know? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Tech on Kinkrete. Hands down, the best. What's something you wish that people understood about you, but they don't? I must admit, this is quite an intense question that I'm not even prepared to answer, so uh, take your time. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on there, baby. What's your biggest fear? I think tidal waves, like giant, like 200 foot rogue waves would be my biggest fear. I used to have nightmares about them as a kid, just like looking up at a wall of wave, you know? Like the ones that you only hear about in deep ocean. I don't know how fishermen do it. No, thank you. Oh, you know what? They have a merry-go-round here. Let's go check it out. It's an Arhu player. players very often. The only time I've seen a street Arhu player was in uh, Chinatown. What a treat. The Arhu is a really fun instrument. Um, I played it a little bit myself. I wouldn't say I'm super proficient, you know. So what's your favorite video game? Do you have one? Watching each trip. <laughs> Wow, look at those giant plushies. Oh, there's a giant robot one. Look at this. Wow. Let's see, 30 rings. Let me see if I can try. Hey. Hi. Um, can I play this one? Yeah, just give me a second. Sure. Okay, so she said she's gonna come back in a minute. Let's see, 30 rings, four bucks. Oh, one bucket, seven dollars. Two buckets. Oh, what do you think? Maybe, I believe I can do 30 rings. Land one ring, on ball top and win. No leaning. So you know these games are always like rigged. Oh, the rings are super tiny. Hey, excuse me. Hey! Hey, in our park policy, you still have no blue body costume. Is this the mass? Is this not a full piece of the park? Uh, oh. Sorry. Uh-huh. You can't allow you to wear your face on that. Oh, I'm sorry, one more time. Sorry. Uh, in our park policy, we can't allow you to wear your full body costume on your face. We ask you politely to uh, take it away because uh, the Silver Park don't rep that uh, around this area. Okay. Yes, that's pretty much it. It's just our park policy, we don't have no full body costume. Oh, okay, no problem. Face mask. Yeah, you can't have the face mask on. So, uh, so unfortunately, we have another policy with no tripod policy. Oh, so really? So you can have the camera, there's no problem with that, but just the tripod, just for safety reasons and stuff like that. Oh, okay, that makes yeah, sense. So. And I'll totally, I mean, no fight for me, but I was just wondering about the face mask. Do you guys know why? The private property, this is owned uh, privately. They have their own policies and own restrictions. So for the safety of others, this is a family park as well, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so in case it, like, scares people or something? Um, yeah, just there's a lot of different reasons, but obviously we just abide by those policies and we try to enforce them. Yeah. Uh, so you won't be able to wear the mask on property. Um, I'll just go ahead and head out then. Okay, thank, thank you. For sure. Thank you. Okay, well, so we're going to have to nix this date idea. Oh, do you want to take a peek at the carousel really quick? Wow, look at that. I love carousels. I was really hoping to take you on it too. That's okay. One day. One day and it'll be a great day. Carousel day. You'll know I have really succeeded in life when I take you on a carousel, okay? One day, I swear, baby. Yeah, you got it. 
How you doing today? Good. Where did you see me from? Where'd you? I don't know. Just, <laughs> I just like, gotta hunt that weirdo down. Yeah, exactly. It's a weirdo. It's my people. Uh, what's up? What's All right. Up? There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Have a good one. I Thank love you, it. you too. Yeah. Oh no. So this is where uh, I'll say goodbye. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet me on Valentine's Day. I hope it's filled with love. I hope you had a good time. Oh, we didn't get, get to really talk about um, oh, the concept of love. But you know what? Maybe another Valentine's Day. Maybe another romance time. I'm sure there'll be more. Oh man, I didn't even get to show you my cool jacket. Here, if you would be so kind, I will model it for you. All right, are you ready? Look away. Look away, close your eyes. Okay. Big pimpin. There you go. That's the big reveal. It is way too hot for this jacket though. But it's pretty cool, yeah, it's got some pockets. Well, you know, it is kind of a bummer that um, I can't freely go places, but you know, this lifestyle isn't necessary. It's an art form and it makes people uncomfortable sometimes. So, you know, property owners get to decide how they want things to go. This is optional, right? Uh, not for me, of course, in my way of thinking, but hey, how's it going? Good, good. Can I interview you 20 seconds, please? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, perfect. That's for a music video project. Just people, why are they happy? What was that? Why are you happy? Why am I happy? Okay, you can just I film you and you tell me why are you happy. Okay, sure. Okay, let's do that. Perfect. Let's go. So why am I happy? Yeah. Um, I'm happy because I choose to be because uh, once you feel like real sadness, real rock bottom, you understand the importance of being happy and that it's worth fighting for. So that's why I choose to be happy. Perfect, thank you. Wait, why do you be happy? Why am I happy? Yeah. I don't know because I like what I do. I like where I am because I'm from France. Wow. And now I'm here for study and do a little, like I do music with my French band and we still here. So that's perfect. That's amazing. I'm actually a musician too. Here, I'd actually love to find you and hear your music. How long have you been in LA pursuing music? Oh, it's been one month. <gasps> no way, are yeah. you serious? Yeah, like to go to Paris and now LA, it's so like weird. How can I find you on Instagram? Oh, uh, the offners, like T-H-E. Uh, T-H-E. H. Oh, it's H O F N. E R S. So yeah, that's us. We're gonna release our Amazing. New, we're gonna release our new EP in like one month. No way. And so I'll be looking out. I love your style. Oh thank you. Really? Thank so you. what kind of music do you make you say? We do electro music. Our new EP is gonna be more pop electro, so it's kind of cool. That's so exciting. Thank you. That's amazing thank that you. you're just out like, living really, life. I love like your own sweet and all this. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we we'll stay in touch on Instagram. Yeah, what was your name? Nassim. Nassim? Yeah, what's your name? Yokness. Yokness, okay, have a great day. Well, Pleasure to meet you. Bye. Bye. Wow, that's amazing. Can you imagine coming to a new country just a month in? How crazy is that? That's why I love Los Angeles. You just, so many active spirits. It just, it reminds me to be active and out there, you know? Oh, I better get out of here before I get busted, huh? Oh, and I guess last minute thoughts on love. To go to depths with someone to experience real love with somebody. I think that is a worthwhile pursuit. Oh shit, just put my bag on the ground. Am I out of my mind? And I'll tell you, I've had my heart broken so many times, you know? And I thought I was never gonna recover from a few heartbreaks, but we're way more resilient than that. To, to lose love is also inevitable. And if you are in a relationship right now, meet your partner mentally. Ask each other questions that you haven't asked or that you haven't asked in a long time. Things change, you know? There could be an update. It's so special to be loved and to love somebody. Those are my thoughts on Valentine's Day. Do you think I will! <laughs> Woo! I love these people. <laughs> he seemed scared when I yelled at him. <laughs> Admittedly, the anxiety pushed through my throat way more energy than I intended. Sorry, dude, you rock. But yeah, I totally forgot to mention, uh, I actually have a new song coming out. It's uh, a love song, actually. 
So it's called You Go, I Go, and I really, really love it. I'm really proud of it. So uh, if you feel like feeling amorous, check it out, okay? Anyway, thanks for being my date today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Again, I'm sorry that uh, hanging out with me means we get kicked out of places. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with your responses to each of the questions. I know it seems kind of silly, but not to break the fourth wall necessarily. You, right now, are a VR camera. It looks like a giant eyeball. And I'm talking to you from a time and space that is not actually your present time and space. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. It doesn't mean that I'm not addressing you directly. So it doesn't matter to me whether you answer my questions right here, right now, or if I get the completion to the question uh, a little bit later. Well, that about sums it up for me. I better skadoodle on out of here. I'll see you again soon, okay? Bye!